What's going on guys? So today I'm going to be making a Thai dish. It's called Pad Prick King. It's basically a Thai beef stir fry. You can see me. I'm going to be using a wok today. These things get super hot. So ingredients wise, super simple list. You need two tablespoon coconut oil, 350 grams of beef. You can use ground or thin slices. I'm using ground today. Uh, one tablespoon of red curry paste. I personally like to use the brand May Ploy. Uh, one onion or shallot chopped, uh, three to quarters of a pound of green beans, or you can use more, just depends on how you like your green beans. Uh, one tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste, and then a quarter cup of basil leaves chopped, or in this case I've written here chiffonade, which is just a fancy word for, uh, you know, thinly cut into ribbons or something or not. Uh, basically it won't matter. Uh, for the sauce, or glaze in this case, you're going to need two tablespoons of oyster sauce, two tablespoons of soy sauce, uh, a tablespoon of fish sauce. You want to use this very sparingly because it can be very salty. And then if you have chicken stock or water, you can throw that in. And then of course some sugar or some honey to make it sweet. So here I am adding the coconut oil and the red curry paste. Uh, into the wok as you can see it's burning quite hot you can see some flames going here so what I want to do is fry up the paste and then after the paste has been fried I'm going to begin adding the beef now what you want to do is take the beef and basically break it up into little pieces and again you can use sliced beef sliced thinly or in this case, I'm using ground beef. I'm on a diet and I need to drop some weight. So I like the ground beef because then I can easily portion out however much beef I want. Uh, also, it mix it with rice really well, which is what I'll be eating this with uh, later. So here we are just stir frying the beef. This takes a minute or two. You can see I've turned down the fire on the wok. Sometimes when I cook on the wok, it gets really hot. I mean, that carbon steel wok gets up to 600, 700, 800 degrees, no problem. That BTU burner beneath it puts out about 22,000, uh, actually no, I think it's like 30 or 40,000 BTU, so it puts out a lot of heat. So uh, oftentimes I'll heat it up and then I'll put in whatever the mediums are, the, the meat, the vegetables, and then I'll turn down the heat because the wok has plenty of residual heat uh, to heat up the ingredients. Okay, so now I'm adding the onion. Now that the stir-fried beef is you know, semi-cooked, now I'm adding in the onions. Now the fat from the beef is rendering into the wok. And so with that, that's going to cook the shallots, basically fry the shallots uh, as well. So. This takes a second or two. Um, I'm speeding up the video here because this entire cook took about 13 minutes live but you know you could cook it in a lot less make sure to stir your beef and your onions so they don't get burned especially in this hot wok you want to make sure that they don't get brown or black next thing you want to do is let that cook for a minute basically the beef and the onions have got to get to know each other a little bit so I put a lid on top and then I kind of walk away give it two to three minutes. All right, so it's been about two to three minutes. Uh, come back, stir fry it a little bit more, make sure it's nothing sticking. Again, I've turned down the heat so the wok's not gonna burn the meat. All right, now that I, the beef and onions are mostly cooked, I'm adding the green onions now, excuse me, the green beans. So this will add the texture, the crunchiness. Um, you can take the meat out of the wok and then stir fry the bean vegetables. Actually, I'd actually recommend that. I didn't have an extra plate and I already have the camera rolling. So in this case, I just dumped it all together. But you can definitely take the meat out first, then stir fry your green beans and then add your meat back in. Uh, you should get a crispier and tastier uh, green bean in that scenario. So now that they're thoroughly mixed, I'm gonna add this glaze. Again, this is gonna be that soy sauce, the oyster sauce, the fish sauce, uh, the honey, and then of course, if you have water or chicken stock, that'll be great. Uh, the more glaze you have, the more flavor there's gonna be. Uh, but again, just be very careful with that fish sauce because it can be very salty. 
Gonna put the lid back on and leave it to get to know each other for the next couple minutes. Here you can see I'm adding a little bit more water. I didn't have enough glaze, so I'm just adding a little more water to thin up the flavor, uh, thin up the sauce there. And here we are, we're just gonna walk away. All right, it's been a couple of minutes. I'm gonna take the lid off, and here I am adding some chili powder. So you can actually use chilies in your cook. So if you have access to jalapenos, green peppers, or red Thai chili per peppers, like bird's eye chili peppers, those go great in this as well. Just, again, be careful with the heat. Uh, anytime I go to a Thai restaurant and order uh, a Thai dish, I try to do medium or hot. One time I got Thai hot and my mouth went numb and I couldn't feel anything, so lesson learned. Uh, if you think you could do Thai hot, think again. Uh, needless to say, I haven't ordered Thai hot in quite some time. All right, so we're gonna let that stir fry just a little bit, and then now you can see here I'm adding the basil. So this is the chopped basil, uh, the chefonade, if you will. Uh, so I'm just gonna add that in. I've already turned the fire off, so this won't burn. There's plenty of residual heat in that wok, and what I'm gonna do now is just mix it all up. So that's it. In less than 10 to 15 minutes, you can basically have yourself a stir-fried Thai dish. Uh, again, this one is Pad Prick King. This is essentially a stir-fried beef with basil along with some vegetable. Uh, traditionally, green beans is very often used. Uh, I personally love it. This is the one dish that I love to get at every Thai restaurant because it goes really well with jasmine rice and just overall great source of protein, lots of vegetables, can't go wrong. All right, hey, well, thank you for joining me today. Uh, I hope you enjoy the recipe and hopefully you guys can get out and start cooking too. Take care, bye-bye.